where the two Lambdens were hung, telling the people in Charlestown, what if I was two saying, what if I had two by sea, which meant the British were crossing the water. This water here, by the way, the Lexington. You know, I'm Back in 1980, this was still an ugly, ugly old warehouse that had been there for well over a hundred years. It was torn down in the 1980s. This is now uh, half hotel and half residence, the Boston Harbor Hotel. It, um, there's a, a green rotunda there. They have weddings in the, uh, throughout the year, and they have concerts in the summer. That's where you can get the, the ferries over to Provincetown. But I'm sticking to my story that for many years the water line went up to the street. All right? This tall building right here, that actually is an office building. That represents, we're going to kind of go around it a little bit here to the right. So that was kind of at the, uh, the far end of, of Boston. That's where the, there was a hill. The hill went to the bottom row of windows, it was only about 40 feet. But that is where. British, when they were in charge, put their fort, it was the highest piece of land overlooking the harbor, and the fort, because the British are very clever, the British called Fort Hill. And on March 17th, 1776, March 17th is the date, the British were up there, looked out, saw some cannons that the Patriots set up to blow the British ships up. The British said, wow, they're going to blow all our ships and we're going to be stuck here forever in Boston, suffering 86 years with the Red Sox. <laughs> British wanted no part of that because they like soccer. So they came down, boarded the ships, and left Boston forever. Every March 17th, we celebrate that. Does anyone know what March 17th is? St. Patrick's. Patrick's Day. What else? Do you know, sir? Do you know? Anyone know what we celebrated here? That's right. It's evacuation day. It, that's what we saw. It's a combined holiday here. We celebrate the Irish coming and the British leaving. Captain's a historian. He celebrates. He combines evacuation. Day. New York is what? That's right. New York is New York is always behind us. You know that, right? Although I think we have one game behind. They only say nice things when I'm in front of them. This building is an example of the improvement allowed after taking down the highway. Because you imagine an ugly highway here, nobody would get over here because you wouldn't want to get underneath it. But now that we've taken it down, you can build this, the water's on the other side. This was built in the 1990s. It's a five-star hotel. Do, do you know the difference between a five-star hotel and a four-star hotel? One star. <laughs> Guy from Maine, you know what? This is the James McFoster Company. That's where the best and cheapest lottery rolls are, right there. You can get there from the Quincy Market area, just follow the water down. But I want to bring your attention to this building. This is where the Boston Tea Party took place. So this is where there's an observation deck up there that's free. This is where, you know, the King George sent the we wanted to pay the tax, the, the pages dressed as Indians dumped it in here. See, there's an, a replica of one of the three ships. See it right there? They just brought that this morning because this, that's going to be the Tea Party Museum right there. And that's the Children's Museum with the milk bottle. And uh, over here, if you don't mind, I will, uh, personally, I'd like to point this out because this restaurant right here is named after my mother-in-law. <laughs> Yes, the Bakke crab. I say that with affection. 
but not when she's on the tour. That's excellent. Keep, keep them coming. I need no material. material. Okay. This is the uh, the Joe Mowgli Federal Courthouse. Kathy's going to show you that from the water side. I'm going to point it out to you now because that's where the shoe bomber was tried. And that's where, are there any gangsters in one? That's where Whitey Bow is, is brought in. You know the gangsters? Yeah, you know you see them, they keep bringing them in and everything. So that's where uh, the shoe bomber is going to be. We're actually no longer in Boston. We are in South Boston as we cross the water. This is the Seaport District. This is the cheapest parking. So this is where the local commuters now a convention center called World Trade Center. I'm going to just sit out here for a second. So you can see there's a white tent at about 11 o'clock. That's where we have our summer concerts. That's the Bank of America Pavilion. And uh, this right here is the well, is South Boston Fish Pier. That is where the trawlers bring the fish for the restaurants. They go out to George's Bank. The second building is where the no-name restaurant is, which is in all the tourist books. But I want to point out that, see this glass building right here as we take the turn? That's called Liberty War. This, that, that's the hottest dining in Boston. See, uh, there's a Jerry Remy sports bar there, but that is, um, used to be Jimmy's Harborside. Any, any little local. First one being in Chicago. That's designed to look like a cruise ship. Look like a cruise ship? Yeah. Yeah. With the portholes, it was open. It was pretty busy the other night. Do you know why? I was going to get out of New York. And uh, you can get over to South Station on the subway. One of the entrances is right here. And I'm pointing it out to you. Have you all driven this event on the subway? Yeah, it's a lot. You have from Houston, you haven't been? Yeah, it's a lot. We are used to a horseback ride, right? So this is, this will take you a while to get used to it. Probably the same kind of bumpy ride, though. I made that. I made that. We had uh, Occupy Boston, the protesters, right here on this beautiful lawn, right here. They were there for a couple of months in the in the fall. All right. Now. On this uh, far corner right here is the last re remaining support beam for the elevated highway. See that ugly green thing? That's why we left it up there. Just to remind you how ugly it was. Okay, now I'm a, prof I'm a professional tour guide. I mean, this is talk show stuff you're getting. Talk show. Many of these things are true that I tell you. Many. It would be a good one. 50%, is that good enough? I mean, you're on vacation. It is a duck tour, right? Hello? Because one thing wasn't quite true, and that was the Boston Tea Party. But that was a good story, and I had visuals, the whole thing. Fire. And they cleaned it up by dumping everything into where the water was, pushing the land back a little bit. So where the Boston Tea Party originally took place no longer exists. So we do celebrate it. Where I showed you. And they're gonna, we saw the replica. What, what ship was that that we saw today? The Beaver. That was that was starring Jerry, Jerry Mathers, right? There's two other ships. There's the Eleanor and the Dartmouth. There were three ships involved, and uh, they're bringing the other two in. That they're going to have them uh, set up there, starting very soon, sometime in the spring. Okay, coming up on the captain side is the Leventhal Park. I always like to point this out to you because this is one of the top city parks for what it offers the local businessmen and it used to be maybe in the 1980s not too long ago if you would look over here there was a big ugly parking garage now look at the improvement we they actually put the parking underground so the bottom was park above park below you got all that what they if you park below they have a chute you can the businessmen leave their laundry Get at the end of the day, they can service the car. You can do all this, all this kind of stuff when you leave your car there.